When Time Magazine picks its person of the year, the President of the United States is always automatically a candidate. Because he's the most powerful person in the world, he has more power than anyone to influence the course of news that year, which is technically the criteria the magazine is looking for. But because it would be pretty boring to have the President be person of the year every year, what the editors there say is that there should be some extraordinary argument for why the President deserves the award that year. This year, President Barack Obama is person of the year and he does not seem to meet that uh, to meet that standard. It seems to be a choice by default uh, based on the fact that there just weren't any other really strong candidates this year. I was, I was there at a uh, event where they were debating person of the year and no other names really surfaced with a strong argument behind them. Now for a president to win in a re-election year it's, it's not uncommon. George Bush won in 2004 but that was a very different circumstance. There were two wars going on. Uh, Bush had been conducting a much more radical presidency, pushing forth a, a much stronger agenda. If you reach back further than that, Ronald Reagan was not person of the year in 1984, although he already had been twice before that. Nixon was a person of the year during his re-election year, as was Lyndon Johnson in 1964, although technically not a re-election. Ultimately, it doesn't matter much, just helps time, sell a few extra copies and a lot of extra ads, but it does sort of make it feel like the year's going out with a whimper, not a bang.